Hi friends. This is Satya Papu from India. This article has been taken from on passive blog. Speech versus Voice recognition, what's the difference? Speech and voice recognition are two technologies that have revolutionized the way humans interact with computers and digital devices. While they may sound similar, they serve different purposes and function in different ways. This blog post will explore the differences between speech and voice recognition. Speech Recognition With the help of speech recognition technology, computers can translate spoken words into text. It is frequently used for dictation and transcribing tasks because it lets people speak normally while their words are faithfully translated into text. Speech recognition functions by evaluating a person's voice's acoustic characteristics, such as pitch, loudness, and tone. After processing these characteristics, the computer compares them to a database of previously recorded audio samples. The computer subsequently translates the spoken words into text, which can then be read aloud or saved as a document. Since its conception, speech recognition technology has advanced significantly, and contemporary systems can now recognize a variety of accents and dialects. It is frequently utilized in the legal, medical, and journalism industries, where accurate and timely transcription is essential. Voice Recognition in contrast, voice recognition is a technology that enables computers to identify and differentiate between various voices. It is frequently employed for security purposes, such as in systems that identify people using only their voices, voice biometrics. Voice recognition examines a person's distinctive vocal traits, including pitch, tone, and cadence. When the person speaks again, the computer matches their speech pattern to the data it has saved in a database to confirm their identification. These features are then recorded. Voice recognition is frequently employed in sectors like banking and finance, where security is of the utmost importance. Consumer products that allow voice control through instructions, such as smart speakers and virtual assistants, also use it. Speech versus Voice recognition, the differences While speech and voice recognition may seem similar, they have different applications and serve different purposes. Below are some of the key differences between the two technologies. Function, speech recognition transcribes spoken words into text, while voice recognition identifies and authenticates a person based on their vocal characteristics. Accuracy, speech recognition systems need to accurately transcribe spoken words into text, which can be challenging due to variations in accents and dialects. In contrast, voice recognition systems need to accurately identify a person's voice, which can be challenging due to background noise and changes in the person's vocal characteristics over time. Security, voice recognition is often used for security purposes, such as in biometric voice systems, where a person's voice is used to verify their identity. On the other hand, speech recognition is mainly used for transcription purposes and does not have the same security implications. Applications, speech recognition is commonly used in healthcare, legal, and journalism industries. In contrast, voice recognition is commonly used in industries such as banking and finance, as well as in consumer electronics. Conclusion Speech and voice recognition are two technologies that have revolutionized the way humans interact with computers and digital devices. While they may sound similar, they serve different purposes and function in different ways. Speech recognition is used to transcribe spoken words into text, while voice recognition is used to identify and authenticate a person based on their vocal characteristics. Understanding the differences between these technologies is essential for anyone who wants to take advantage of their capabilities and integrate them into their work or personal life. Register now. For free. Registered users will receive instant access to Omail, Onet and Otrim through on Passive Ecosystem, you can enjoy the 14-day free trial for Oconnect, a video conferencing tool from on Passive. Join us. Thank you. Yours Satya Papu.